Good morning, friends, and welcome to day five of our meditations on the Apostles' Code by O.S. Hawkins. My name is David Fullen, and I welcome you for this brief devotional time and uh, an opportunity to meet with the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, we commit this time to you and ask that you will work everything that pleases you in us. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Day five. There is something within most of us that loves to identify with certain brands. We wear clothing that proudly displays particular logos. Our key rings proclaim the logos of the cars we drive. And who of us with deep loyalty to our colleges or universities does not proudly proclaim it through all types of logos on bumper stickers, hats, and shirts? Did you know that the Holy Spirit has some unique logos of his own that describe who he is and what he does? For example, fire is an emblem of the Holy Spirit. Fire speaks of the Spirit's consuming power in the life of the believer. John the Baptist told his followers in the Jordan Valley that Jesus would baptize them with the Holy Spirit and fire. Matthew 3 verse 11. While the dove is perhaps the most prominent logo describing the, whole, the Holy Spirit, another is wind. Wind speaks of the incredible depth of his mighty power to regenerate us. Jesus said, The wind blows where it wishes and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. John 3 verse 8 We may not be able to see the wind but we can certainly see its power blowing the leaves in the trees. So it is with the Spirit. We may not be able to see Him, but we can certainly see the powerful effect of His presence all around us. The code word for today is brand. Today, if you pick up a writing pen with its logo or put on a shirt with its brand, let it be a reminder that the Holy Spirit desires to imprint your very soul with his own presence and identity for all the world to see. Our verse for today is John 13, 35. By this all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. And our prayer today is Lord, in the midst of my identifying with so many good things, help me never to be ashamed of identifying with the greatest one of all, you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you, friends, for joining in on this day five of the Apostles' Code. Please come back tomorrow for day six. Thank you.